Hey folks, Father Sampothik from Siege Virus here. Uh, today we're going to make a very simple um, chrome shadow or you know silver, silver shadow. So uh, people asked about some live demo on uh, material development. So this is uh, one. So we're going to make this from scratch and we're going to make a group for it. And also you will uh, you can download it from uh, GitHub. Uh, the link will be in the description later. So uh, what? it would be like is basically if we go here so this is something uh, you know some water spot and uh, things like that and also we're going to have some features like weathering uh, which you can do it from here as well so this will be something like that okay so let's get started and let's build this setup all right all right so here we are and uh, let's disable all the overlays here and uh, let's go to the development uh, this is loop diff and uh, we have already created a uh, basic material here so what we're going to do uh, we're going to start working on it so let's get started with our Voronite texture okay and uh, this is our Voronite texture and uh, let's go to factor to see what we have so we can see that we are having some kind of a spot right so let's go to the cell and um, let's go to this and let's scale it up a little bit so we are already getting some stuff but you can see that they are simming so what we can do is basically press ctrl t uh, enabling the net node wrangler and you can see that it is creating it with generated for procedural you should not use generated um, in common you should use object okay so let's do it like that and you can see that we are already having some scratches so Voronoi is much more better for this kind of scratches actually so let's just scale it down a little bit something like that okay so uh, now uh, in uh, actual cases what we do um, is basically if it's uh, something like a wood or something like that uh, we start with bump map okay because normal map is the feature uh, you should uh, retain first but uh, this is a chrome all right so and in chrome uh, the definition is uh, actually comes from roughness so we're going to start working with it so let's create uh, let's go to the principal BSDF and I'm going to turn off roughness turn on metallic and here we go so this is the fresh chrome metal so now quite obviously we're going for uh, factor to uh, roughness there we go okay so now we're having uh, already we're having the spots and the stuff like that so let's go for a power node <coughs> that means the math and uh, in the math node what we're going to do is basically we're going to create it uh, with power okay so what the power does is basically creates um, you know something like um, level contrast or uh, you know threshold so this will be our threshold and we're going to clamp it because we don't need negative values from power okay so something like that so yeah so let's go to uh, closest let's go to second closest so second closest will give us a much more uh, better iteration okay so this is the iteration of uh, this algorithm so we're going to use second closest you can also use if you need more complexity you can use fourth closes as well so it will give you much more granular setup but <coughs> for this we're going to use uh, second closes or let's use third closes yeah this will be much more better yeah okay mm. okay let's yeah second closes is all right yeah or third closes anyway okay uh, third closes okay so first thing first done now let's go to mm, let's create a bump map for this so we're going for a bump and the bump map should have uh, some scratches from these guys alright so in nature uh, we um, see this daily so let's go for a bump map and connect it to normal there we go and uh, the factor should come from this power okay uh, to the height okay now we are seeing insane stuff uh, so 
for the strength we are going to use a math note and uh, let's go for a multiply where are you yeah and let's go for 0 0.01 and let's turn the value to strength okay hmm so now we have much more handle to handle this stuff correctly and uh, rightfully so yeah uh let's use uh something like 1.5 for this yeah something like that all right pretty cool so let's see it without any roughness so let's see the bump map now you can see uh these bump maps yeah so um hmm. let's build it let's go for value and you can see that we can increase the value to make the tolerance and decrease the value to make it much more sporty thing so let's go for uh, something like I don't know 12 or something like that yeah let's do it like that okay decent hmm. uh, let's go to the scale okay we have exponent which is 0.2 uh, I need point two here yeah it will create that thing uh, let me go for something like this point three point three point three will be good and the scale parameter uh let's do it for something like ten or something like that yeah it will be much more better i think okay so <coughs> now let's go for um let's go for metallic so in traditional way uh, metallic is uh, always zero to one but uh, you can see that these spots spots are something like you know stain spot this kind of thing in metallic object uh, there are some uh, mid values you know so this is all up to you to, uh, how you want to use it uh, if you go for metallic zero uh, quite obviously it will uh, be like a plastic and if you go to the metallic one it will be like this so it is up to you if you want to use these metallic values as well uh, so but um, in nature what we see that uh, yes of course there are some great values in metallic shade as well especially when it is a steel uh, kind of thing you know a very chromium steel so we're going to do that um, it's up to you it's completely up to you if you want to uh, if you don't want to use this metallic version just uh, you just need to disconnect the metallic version okay so uh, for realism I'm using it uh, so it should come from the power this burn texture and it should go to the metallic here and you will see it is totally wrong because we need invert here um uh, you know this is uh, this is optional all right so if you don't want to use uh, that thing uh, you can just uh, you know disable the metallic not a problem but actually metallic from uh, metallic will give you some much more realism okay so we are and that's why we are using it okay so this is it and hmm, we need some organic setup here so let's use this point two or point one actually that will give it some much more yeah good stuff all right and uh, now uh, simply just uh, let's create a mix note yeah uh, mix RGB and uh, this will be our color so we can copy this base color from here control C and uh, let's paste it here control B there we go um, okay there we go and let's input it to base color yeah and now we're going for a factor and uh, quite obviously the factor should be from the power okay but we need some tolerance right so what we can do is basically let's give them some room there we go and let's give it some tolerance so we can use hmm. mm, let's uh, first do the dark color first so there we go and let's use this bluish tone here okay and then what we can do is basically <coughs> we can create a 
multiply node that means the math node here and let's multiply it as a factor so it will give us some room to play with and here is our factor so we don't need any negative so let's clamp it there we go and now we have our threshold right so by default it will be zero and uh, by default um, you know well, we can increase it later yeah so this is the basic setup here and uh, let me see what else we can do okay so this is our setup right now uh, we are using cells and everything is fine just uh, we are using fourth clauses because I'm seeing that uh, it is much more detailed and looks cool okay so <coughs> this one is one and uh, in the bump map we are using clamp okay uh, because the strain should not be negative because we are also using invert here all right and uh, yeah and other things are almost fine so what I'm thinking that uh, the standard value should be 4.5 by default and we can increase it and decrease it which is good and uh, also uh, yeah that's how it's going to work okay so here it is and the bump value we are using 0.5 here with uh, multiplied of 0 0.01 so here it is okay so now it's time to package it uh, you know pack it up so let's pack it up so <coughs> for this we are going for uh, let's select all everything here and let's uh, group it and uh, first thing what we need is basically let's go here okay so let's go logical uh, this one should be the weather spot so we're going to name it spot spot threshold okay and uh, the default value should be 4.5 uh, minimum value should be 0 and maximum value we are going for 20 uh, let's go for 50 yeah okay and uh, then we're going for a spot scale spot scale and this one should be a spot exponent spot exponent there we go and then we're going for let me see bomb value yep we need that um yeah let's do it later we're going for weather and this should be weathering and uh, this one is called metal color and this one is called weather color okay you can use a uh, color ramp as well here not a problem so I think the metal color should be at top yep uh, so these are the things then what we need is basically a bomb value there we go and uh, this should be bump strength I think that's it um, what else let me see yeah the bump value should be zero and quite obviously <laughs> should not be 1000 uh, let's go for uh, I don't know uh, let's go for one yeah one would be oh oh okay okay oh uh, no let's go for 10 something like that because we are using a multiplied value yeah okay so other things are pretty much fine I think so yeah let's see and I'm going to name it common silver yeah and here we go spot threshold okay let's go to spot scale this is the scale okay spot exponent there you go weathering there you go uh, let's use weathering and let's see the color so the metal color is basically 
uh, the saturation of your metal and this is the weather color what you can do is basically you can go for some bluish tint go for some reddish tint go for some black etc etc and uh, also you can use something like a color ramp here if you want to okay so you can use that weather color it's color ramp you can go for I don't know uh, something like a red and then let's go for some green you know that and let's do some thresholding show green and red mix there you go okay Something like that but uh, this green is insane it should not be like that yeah something like that okay and this is the bump strength quite obviously so if you want to have some bump strength you can do it like that or you can just go for zero and this will be something like that and okay, let's cut it down here yeah. and if you are using weathering you can do it like that as well so yeah so these are the things okay let's go default there you go okay so this will be uh, available uh, in uh, a download link in github so you can download it and uh, test it for yourself all right so thank you i'm father sympathy from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye